So in measure 10 here, I'm not so happy about how I'm playing a certain chord. And I'll just play this little snippet starting at the measure before it that you, you cannot quite see. There it is. But uh, then I'll stop right at where my kind of covers are blocking the rest of the music. So there are a couple of problems with the previous measure, but just st stopping right here. That's fine. This goal chord in both hands, once I land on it, I'm, I'm okay. But coming into it, there is a bit of inconsistency in terms of rhythm, in terms of notes being hit correctly. So back to my gob style practice, whereby I'm going to first block off everything but that goal and just make sure that I'm in a good position. All right, so here we go. I've got a nice spread out left hand. I've got the chord in the right and my torso, you know, that midline between the shoulders, it's probably pointing a little bit uh, off center to the left, but I want to feel comfortable. So, with this established, and currently our dynamic is mezzo forte, so that accent is pretty loud. Shouldn't be afraid to punch it a little harder. Now comes that problem of what happens right before it, which is I will be playing that G, but I will also be holding the long chord. Maybe I'll use these green lines or something. This red line is better. Visually, I'm not the strongest person. So, uh, we have this chord in the right hand being held, and then as I play the G, I'm going to let go and jump to it. Now, when I'm holding it, it would be advantageous if my first finger is holding this B note uh, right next to the B flat. Not only that, I kind of need to make sure that these other fingers can snap into their positions right away. Right, so it definitely, if I'm forcing myself to sit in the middle of the keyboard like I would normally do, it makes it very hard. You know, I'm finding that this unnaturally straight right arm is just not having a good time. So I'm definitely want, going to want to remind myself to stay on this A below middle C. All right, so I'm inside the keyboard and I'm playing this. We're holding this chord. I'm going to play this G in the left hand and then finish with my goal. Right, that's the kind of rhythm, that's the kind of snippet I want to sound out. I might even hold on to that F a little bit, yeah, because it's a long F, you can kind of barely see it there. Let's get back to my torso position. So I've established that at least I can seemingly play this snippet okay, just those last two notes of measure 10. Now I will go back to this chord where I actually have to play it. I'm going to play the chord before it nice and quick, kind of staccato style, and then be ready to press this. Just kind of playing through those positions gradually to figure things out. But right away I have a little bit of a challenge, which is coming into this chord that's currently uh, covered up which you can barely see, it's easier to play it on the edge of the keys like this, as opposed to inside the keys like that. If I could do this, it would probably save a lot of trouble. But getting to it, it would be really hard to do this with all the black keys in the way. So I think I might want to actually play on the edge and then 
as I play this chord, I'm going to start moving into the keyboard. So I start on the edge of the white keys, and then I kind of jump inside. So for that, I'm going to draw a little symbol that reminds me to do just that. Let's put that red arrow pointing up, which is to say inside the keys, from here to there, in, on, right on that chord. And then I think I'm in good shape. So I'm, I'm going to kind of practice hitting it, not from right here, but more from out here, inside. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm trying to achieve. Now, I'm still going to hold onto this F in the left hand. More accent on the accent. Something like that. Okay, now with that out of the way, I think I could try to add this part. Now, what I like to practice as I move backwards with this backward step in method is actually start when I'm already down. So I've just pressed that chord on what B3 of this measure, the one that's half covered, and now I'm paused. Now I've pressed this pause button and I'm thinking, what's next? Well, what's next is ta 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 ta, right? The, those remaining couple of chords. And I, of course, need to remember to have my torso in this better position. So I'm down, I'm holding that chord, and I'm getting ready to go ta 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 ta. -ta. Right away, I could tell my rhythm between the left hand or the right hand first, as I was playing that chord while moving the hand inside, and that G in finger two in the left hand. It was not great, so let's try it again. All right, so I was more focused on that problem once I identified it, and it was better. It's a, probably a better accent as well. Definitely the only way to make sure that that syncopated quarter note with those red squiggly lines that I put in is sustained for as long as possible is to make sure to hold it right next to the B flat, right next to the last chord of this measure. So one more time, I'm here. Still not quite happy with this ta rhythm between the chord and the G. So what I do in that case, if I'm not happy and it's not really happening after a few tries, I reduce my snippet to where the goal is now, that G. Right, so my right hand is already holding that chord. My left hand will be playing that G. And then I want to reposition so I'm actually able to play the last chord in this measure that's now covered up, right? So I'm going to practice that point. Just, just I'm holding the chord. In fact, let me kind of go back to to here, right? I'm just practicing doing this, holding that little moment, and then doing nothing but position readjustment. And so I'm actually going to. For clarity's sake, put in my position adjustment symbol right here. Something like that. I guess you can't really see it very well. Let's see. Now you can kind of see it. All right, and um, here I'm just holding the G. So that's all I'm doing. That. Easy to remember my posture and my torso position. That's kind of why I have those cameras. It's more for me, so I can watch all the things I'm doing wrong. Boom, right? That's an important move while I'm, the torso is centered on this A natural. Boom, okay. Now, once this has been established, uh, let's do it this way. I'm holding the already Kind of holding the right hand chord correctly right next to here 
but I need to actually articulate that two in the left hand. Right, but I'm still stopping at that same goal point. Now keep going back. Now I'm already holding these guys. And maybe what, um, yeah, maybe I could even do this. I could even say, hey, I've already played and sprung up into the air to play that sustained chord with the arrow telling me what to do. So maybe I'll do this first. That was better, but I, I didn't stop when I was supposed to. Right? That was good. Right, so I'm stopping and checking that if I needed to go on, I'm ready to do it. All right, and then finally, I'm already, I'm holding this down on the edge of my keys and I'm going to continue all the way to where I'm stopping which is here but now because I'm not going into the last chord of this measure I can really precisely hear this rhythm the chord on the right and and the note on the left and so that allows me to fix some of these rhythmic glitches that I've kind of practiced myself into by rushing through this piece uh, you know at some point and trying to fix all the most egregious errors but obviously not every single one all right and then of course you can continue going maybe you can do it this way that was nice Ta -ta -ta. still not perfect but like i've already said in a different video it's best to do this kind of concentrated work, do it as best as you can, and then just leave it be so your brain can sleep on it. It's a really important time for the brain to actually learn and internalize all the new things that you're trying to teach it to do. So I'm going to set it aside. I'm happy with what I've achieved for right now. Now, as I come back to it over the week, I expect this passage to become as perfect as I can currently make it be, at least within this era of my development as a pianist. Anyway, any questions, any comments, please uh, put, put them down.